the first time to get up for Richard Montano. If I fall down, or if my words seem a little slurred, it's not your fault. <laughs> but uh, my wife hurt her back really bad earlier this week. So I've been taking a lot of Oxycontin. <laughs> <laughs> for the sympathy pain. <laughs> Plus, let's face it, she's the boss, so. She high? We high. <laughs> she drunk? We drunk. <laughs> she sober? We're at the comedy club with our friends working on new material. <laughs> it's kind of a tough life I lead. <sighs> no, I am married, so you can stop looking at me like that, ma'am. Eyes are up here. Eyes are up here. Yeah. <laughs> My marriage works on a simple principle. She's the boss. Uh, we decided real early in our relationship, it was evident who was gonna be in charge. She's really, really smart. Like she graduated college magna cum laude. She's super smart. I got a C in Spanish. Twice. In back-to-back -back classes. And I'm Mexican. Just saying. So it was evident she was going to be in charge. And it's, it works out great for me, because if things go well, I get to praise her. And if things go wrong, it's all her fault. So it works out great for me. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, she's still a woman, right? And every once in a while, she'll say some shit, and I'm just like, <laughs> Oh, what'd you say? The other day, we're driving in the car, and she looks at me with a straight face, and she goes, Baby, I wish we could go back to the days of the caveman. <laughs> Maybe you didn't see me get out of the shower last night, babe, but this is not going to play in a loincloth. <laughs> Plus, uh, uh, <laughs> if food ever comes down to a foot race, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> right? <laughs> It's why I don't watch zombie movies. You know what I mean? Uh, that's a waste of my time. You never see the fat guy at the end of the zombie movie like, Woo! We made it, Billy! Me and you! Woo! Because a fat guy running and a fat guy walking look a lot alike. <laughs> Plus, have you guys ever heard the more fat in the meat, the better it tastes? I'm freaking delicious. And people would know it. There's no safe trips out to the water hole for the fat guy. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. Now, I'm glad to see that there are some young people here because I'm going to offer you some great advice and I want you to take this to heart, okay? Tonight when you leave here, go home and look at your parents. Look into their dead, cold eyes. <laughs> and remember it. Because there's no reason for you to have children. <laughs> All right? I don't understand why people are still doing this. How did we sell people on this? Have you not seen your parents? For Christ's sake, they're not that old. I have a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old at the house, and it's a goddamn nightmare. Don't get me wrong. Kids are a blessing for about 15 minutes a day. And then the rest of the time, there's just puke and piss and shit everywhere. And Toys on the floor, you're falling down over yourself. They're screaming and crying. Oh my God, the six-year-old. Oh, he's such a pussy little snitch. Oh, he just drives me nuts. No, he comes into the house and he tells on himself. He tells me that he's doing bad things. I'm like, what are you doing? For Christ's sake. The two-year-old's a thug. 
two year old's a straight gangster. I'm like, come here, let me slap you in the face. He's like, you want some fat man? <laughs> oh, he don't play. He don't play. I had him out, had him out in the backyard, and I was watching him. What kind of watching him? You know, guys don't really watch kids. Women watch kids. Guys just sit when children are around. That's what we do. <laughs> so he gets up in the tree, and I tell him on his way up, I'm like, hey, don't go up there. But he continues. So I get my phone out, because I'm thinking I could get some YouTube magic out of this shit, right? <laughs> you never know. One fallen kid, that's a thousand hits, boy. That's some likes on your page. <laughs> so I got the video rolling, and he starts screaming for his mother because he can't get out of the tree. And I'm like, oh, nope. She ain't here, bro. You got me. Get down. So he does that thing, you know, where he, like, reaches his foot down. And he can't reach the other branch. And he's trying to slide, and he can't reach. And he does what I think is give up. And then all of a sudden, I hear him say, hey, Connor, come here. Connor's the six-year-old. And he just walks over like, yeah, Ben. And Ben just dives out of the tree and <laughs> smashes his ass into the ground. <laughs> just leveled him. I was like, holy shit, did you see that? That was amazing. The two-year-old, I swear to God, gets up like, thanks, bro. Shit could have been ugly. <laughs> now, of course, because the six-year-old's a little snitch, he just goes bombing into the house to tell my wife. <sighs> and I hear her, he did what? And she just comes bawling out of the house. She comes running up to me and she says, oh my God, did Ben jump out of the tree onto Connor? And I said, <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Without missing a beat, my wife goes, let me see the video. Because she knew I had it. <laughs> now, I am a Kansas City comic, and I feel very fortunate to be able to perform around in the Kansas City area. But uh, not too long ago, I got to travel. I got to go out to LA to do a show, and I, I highly recommend it. Uh, now, I didn't, I didn't fly because fat people just shouldn't. Aww. It's just not safe, it's not safe. <laughs> Screw that, it's not safe. Look, I don't mind that the airline makes me buy two seats, okay, I don't. But I mind that they don't give me a cushion. All right, because it's one cheek on one seat, one cheek on the other seat, and there's like a little metal thing right in the middle there, at 10,000 feet. <laughs> Yeah! Takeoff is a true jam in the butt. I pulled so much underwear out of my butt, I pulled somebody else's underwear out of my butt. I was like, who's these? Where did these come from? So I drove. Now I want to make this clear for any law enforcement that may be in the area. I know nobody in Kansas City smokes marijuana because it's illegal. I know this. I know this. But if you drive from here to California, you get to go through this place called Colorado. I don't know if you heard it, but they do things a little different out there. So I, I get out there and I do my buying weed legal dance <laughs> up to the counter. I walk up, I'm like, dude, give me the strongest shit you got. And he's like, well, sir, I have this sativa. And he just starts like giving me a math lesson on weed. And I'm like, settle down strongest shit you got. And then he says, uh, sir, have you ever tried edibles? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> he says, sir, have you ever tried edibles? And I said, keep talking, you sexy bitch. <laughs> <sighs> so we settled on the brownies. And I settled on the brownies because each one of them had their own individual walnuts, so I knew they were healthy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to be absolutely clear about this. They look completely safe. They're in a cute little package, like a little cup of soup. You just fold the top off. They're all sitting in their little individual packages on me. About the size of a fun size Snickers. Anybody here ever ate just one fun size Snickers? <laughs> no! No, I mean, maybe if you're driving in the car and you find that one in the seat, you just eat one. But that's the only time you do that. <laughs> now, the next day when I woke up on the floor of the hotel, I read the package, and nowhere on it did it say, Richard, don't eat six of these. It wasn't written, <laughs> and it should have been. Clearly should have been. Now, here's the deal. When you smoke marijuana, it's a pretty simple process. You take it. You pass. Comes back around. 
and you pass. Comes back around again, and you go, no, thank you. <laughs> now, it's different when you eat it. Just a little warning, kiddies. <laughs> Eating marijuana, the drug is already in your system before you know it's in there. And it kind of does this thing where it turns into a 600-pound gorilla and just waits in the back of your brain <laughs> for you to do something stupid like bend over. And then it just goes, bam, Betty, bam! And I felt it. I felt it hit my body in a wave. As I was putting some socks away, I kind of... <laughs> my elbows started to tighten up. My knees bent in. <laughs> Drool started just pouring out of my face. It was right there at that most beautiful moment. My wife looks at me and goes, hey, babe, let's go get something to eat. I, I can't drive. She says, don't worry, babe, I'll drive. I said, I can't pass it. <laughs> so she says, well, let's walk across the street to Sonic. It's right across the street. It seemed reasonable at the time. <laughs> but that's 45 minutes of my life I'm never getting back. <laughs> no, and all I remember about the walk was my poor wife going, it's this way, stupid. It's this way. <laughs> but I get there. And I'm still trying to maintain, because that's what men do, right? So I'm like, I got this. And I went to order, but it must have been windy, because that damn button was just <laughs> all over the place. And I, just, I couldn't find it. So my wife had had enough, and she's like, just scoot over, I got this. She pushes me, and she got it on the first try. It was amazing. <laughs> So the lady says, what do you have? And I'm just reading the menu at this point. Chili cheese fries, chili cheese tots, chili cheese dog. <laughs> the lady's repeating everything I say. And my wife is just getting pissed. She's like, knock it off, you idiot. I'm like, OK. She's like, go sit down. So I turned to go sit down. And I wasn't ready. Because <laughs> a cop just rolled down the street. And instantly, I just Locked up, started sweating like a freaking quick trip hot dog. I was just panicked. <laughs> I was frozen. I was just babbling. No, 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 no. No, he can't see me. No, he can't see me. My wife notices that I'm not moving, and she's like, what's wrong with you now? I'm like, there's a cop. She says, honey, it's legal. And I said, this isn't legal. <laughs> no way they voted for this. <laughs> and she looks at me, and she goes, uh, babe, look back at the hotel. I swear to God, I look back at the hotel. There's like 15 other dudes just <laughs> bombing out the hotel. Hey, you guys are great. My name is Richard Montana. That's my time. Thank you very much.